Jehovah has the right to expect that we'll love him even more than we love our husband, our wife, our son or daughter, or our parents. He also has the right to expect that we'll love him more than we love our job, a favorite hobby, or maybe a sport that we're passionate about. Jehovah has to come first. Some people believe everything they read in the newspaper or see on TV. To you, should you? If it's in the newspaper, it must be true, right? Not necessarily. Sometimes there's a TV program about Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, a few of these programs are balanced and fair. Many, or I dare say most, are not. It was designed to be unfair. It was slanted against Jehovah's Witnesses. It's bad enough, brothers, when government officials are taken in by false reports. Don't you be taken in. Have you ever heard the expression trial by media? It works like this. Someone's charged with a crime, and the case is widely publicized in the media. And the media present the case in such a way that everyone who hears about it thinks the man is guilty. Of course, to avoid a lawsuit for slander or libel, these media reports are very carefully worded. Does it mean that if we learn that apostates are going to be featured on a TV program, we should watch it to see if what they say is true? No. It basically means to consider the source of the words. If they are the words of apostates, why would we believe them? So brothers, let's not be naive. Don't believe everything you read. Just because an article is called a news report doesn't make it true. If we're stabilized in the faith, we won't be quickly shaken by unfounded accusations by apostates or the media. Our faith is under attack. False rumors are often spread during wartime. Brothers, this is war. We need to put up a hard fight for the faith, as if our life depended on it. Fighters against God have tried to prevent us from carrying out our commission. You need a permit to go from house to house. You can't offer magazines on the street. You people are a dangerous sect. They've even enacted laws directed at stopping our work. Unless they change their ways, those lawmakers are going to be in big trouble. The word has gone out. As you go, preach. That great work will be accomplished with their support or in spite of them. They're more to be pitied than to be feared. They're on the wrong side. They are fighting a losing battle.